Hi, this is Bilal from Speckle. So you got an amazing Navisworks model and you want to bring it into Power BI for data visualization while weaving your models in 3D. You can mess around with a bunch of formats and spreadsheets and try to make it work and fail, or you could just use Speckle. Speckle makes it super easy to connect your Navisworks model into Power BI. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we begin, make sure you have a Speckle account. Go to app.speckle.systems and sign up for an account. Next, you need Navisworks and Power BI connectors installed. Link for the installers is in the description down below. So once you have everything set up, let's go ahead and start by publishing our model from Navisworks. Once Navisworks connector is installed, a new tab will be visible in the ribbon. Let's go there and open Navisworks connector. I'll select publish and your projects will be listed here. If this is your first time using the Navisworks connector, go ahead and create a new project. I will name my project Demo Hospital and select Create. And from this federated model, I will only publish the structural model for the purpose of this demonstration. So I'll create a new model. And publishing from Navisworks is very simple. You just need to select what you want to publish and click Publish. And from my selection tree, I will go ahead and select the structural model and click publish. And that's it. Your model is now in Speckle. Next, we need to load this model into Power BI. And to do that, we need the model URL. You can either get it from the address bar right here or go to share and copy link. Now open Power BI. Go to get data and search for speckle. Select connect the speckle and connect. We will accept the warning. And let's go ahead and paste the model URL we copied from the web app and select OK. So if this is your first time using the Power BI connector, you'll need to log in. And the easiest way to do that is by signing in with your speckle account. So enter your credentials and authorize the Power BI connector within this dialog. And now you are signed in. So next time you load a model from Speckle, you don't have to enter your credentials anymore. Power BI will store your information. So let's go ahead and select connect. And ta-da! Your Navisworks model is now in Power BI in a tabular format. Next, we're going to visualize it in 3D. And to do that, we need Speckle's 3D visual. Let's go ahead and import it. Go to visualizations pane. Select Get More Visuals, import a visual from a file. We'll accept the warning. And the path we need to go is Documents, Power BI Desktop, and Custom Visuals. Go ahead and select 3D Visual.pbi.vis file and open it. Now it's been imported. Let's go ahead and add it to our report. So, Speckle's 3D Visual is asking for three inputs version object ID, object IDs, and tooltip data. And lucky for you, these are auto-generated by our data connector. So open your query and simply drag and drop the corresponding fields into their inputs. Version object ID into the version object ID and object IDs into the object ID input. And tooltip data is just like any other Power BI visual. You can use any column. I will use the same object IDs column for the tooltip data as well. And here it is. You now have a fully interactive 3D representation of your Navisworks model within Power BI. You can zoom, pan, rotate, do all of that. If you want to take it a step further, you can add other visuals to your report. Speckle's 3D visual will automatically isolate and highlight selected elements. And the best part, it works the other way around as well. And that's it. You just unlocked a whole new way to visualize your Navisworks data within Power BI. If you faced any issues while following this tutorial, let us know at speckle.community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.